Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Frostpunk. So, now that we know Winter Home has fallen, hope dropped really low and that's what we'll need to work on. But since we unlocked order, we now should have access... wait, where's order? Oh yeah, right, we didn't actually pick up the first policy yet, which is Neighborhood Watch. So this will unlock the Watchtower. Watchtowers increase the hope of people living nearby. You will have to build two Watchtowers. Yep, we will grab that right away and we will start building the watchtowers right away. What do they require? 10 wood and 5 steel. Alright, so the first one will be right here. Yep. And then the second one... Probably close to the other steam hub. We can reach 6 houses. Yeah, regardless of the location, it will be six houses. Okay, so right here, and then we just need a street. No problem, we'll just have to wait for tomorrow, as far as I can tell. So this way is fine. Alright then. So what about the automaton? Where is he right now? He should be assigned to the steelworks. I might move him elsewhere. Well, once we get the coal mine, we will almost certainly assign him to the coal mine. Because that just makes sense. So you know what, let's maybe get started on the coal mine right away. Because that was kind of the whole point of researching it to begin with. But yeah, we have to wait for wood. We could move the automaton to wood. I mean, we have enough steel right now. So you know what, let's move him to the sawmill. Here, off you go. And we'll move workers to the steelworks. Okay then, we'll probably upgrade the steelworks in a bit, but we'll see about that. Anyway, let's send our scout to the snow cliff. Off you go. And now we can speed up for a bit. Here comes the automaton. I'm watching the coal. Yeah, we will definitely need that coal mine. No doubt about that. Especially since we have a cold wave coming. The Londoners. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They will try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Okay, so that is going to be our next objective. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. And temperature falls, so now we need to turn the heating on. Which will increase the coal requirements. That's fine. Oh, and assign people to the watchtowers. Apparently we don't have enough workers. I mean, we can assign engineers for now. Hold on a moment. Let's assign engineers to steelworks, like so and then workers to the watchtowers. And there's one more thing we should build, which is a resource depot. I mean, not the resource depot, the gathering post. But first we need wood, so let's wait for the automaton to do his thing. And let's keep an eye on the coal. Yeah, we definitely need that coal mine by now. I'm just waiting for the wood now. So carry on. That is going to be enough, I think. Uh, no, we need 25 wood, right. Okay. No problem. However, we can get started on the gathering post. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Right here. In range of the two piles. Yep. Off you go, and then we need to wait for 25 wood. And our scout has arrived. So, where can we go? Actually, I think we should go back, or we can go to the American camp. We do have two steam cords on this guy. We could also wait for the other scouts to arrive at the snow cliff, and maybe that will reveal more locations. Let's do that then, I'm pretty sure that will reveal more locations. We got the wood, so now we can build the coal mine. 
It might be a bit of an overkill initially, but we will definitely need it. Sooner or later. So first build the mine and then extend the street slightly. That will do. Okay then. And then I think we'll need an infirmary. Maybe even one more medical post. Yeah, but first wood. Still, I think we should get another medical post. There's the sawmill upgrade. And next up, we will unlock the infirmary. Yeah, 30 wood. I'm just going to wait for 30 wood then. Yeah, we can always abort research, but that basically makes us lose all the progress. Meaning, if I started something now, I would have to finish it. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. So, infirmary then. Didn't take long to get 30 wood. And our scout has arrived. Explore. The refugee from Winterhome. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his barrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterhome. After the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointing himself as an absolute ruler, he tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of them rebelled against him. Size discovered, shrouded cave and freshwater springs. We got one steam core, 56 wood and 99 food, nice one. So now we can send one scout to freshwater springs and the other to the shrouded cave. And then we'll probably go back to bring the resources back home. Yep, that's what I'm thinking at least. So there's the gathering post. We can assign some people. Alright, that works. And the coal mine is already done, that was quick. So now we can assign the automaton to the coal mine. Because coal is way more important than wood. There we go. And engineers at the steam sawmill. Looking good. So, about the watchtowers. We are still waiting for the street here. Apparently. Did I even start building it? Well, there it is. Now wait for that. Watchtowers built. Hope rises. So next we need an infirmary. I might even get another medical post once we get the resources. We need 25 wood. Well, we'll see. I think infirmary is a direct upgrade to the medical post. But we could still use a third one regardless. Yeah, six people are sick, six gravely. We'll have to wait for tomorrow to get the road done. Yep. Alright, that's fine. 18 people joined the Londoners. That automaton looks a little bit stuck. Yeah, he looks stuck over there. That's not good. The Londoners gain more followers. 26. Yeah, I think he's stuck actually. Hold on. Well, there's no point assigning workers during the day. There, that should fix it, but that was kind of bad. Yeah, he was clearly stuck. Maybe it's because of lack of the road, but I wouldn't think an automaton needs a road. People join the Londoners. Sir, the people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. I see. Okay, so it's work time. We need that road done quickly. It should be done soon. We obviously have the wood. Come on people, get the road built. And go gather the coal. Our scout has arrived. Let's explore. Little survivors. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night their teachers and some hunters took them out from Winterhome on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated in time, before things in their city got really ugly. We can escort them back to the city. We can send them to the city. Let's escort them, that's fine. But we are going to need more houses that way. 
Which is fine, we still have quite a lot of space around the steam hubs. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we had to go back to bring the resources anyway. Now how about that road? We really need it, like, now. I'm not sure why nobody is going there. Maybe we don't have enough spare workers right now. Scouts have reached Freshwater Springs. Degenerated but alive. Near the Freshwater Springs we met some refugees from Winterhome. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they look away, <laughs> then mumble something about eating lichens. Sites discovered, frozen grove. We can escort them to the city, we can send them to the city, and let's escort them to the city. Okay, so back we go. 26 people joined the Londoners so far. So is anyone going to build that street yet? There's something seriously wrong here. That automaton looks completely stuck. And nobody's building the street. Well, anyway, we finished researching the infirmary. So let's pause the game for a moment. And pick our next research. What is it going to be? What do we need the most? That's a good question. We could research generator range upgrade. We could research lighter scout sleds. In fact, yeah, let's get that one. That will speed up the scouts significantly. It's already 2 p.m. and nobody is building that street. Not sure what's going on with that. I'm very sure it was connected properly. Alright, well, carry on. Let's check the Book of Laws. What can we get next? Morning gathering. Each morning gathering will slightly increase hope. And guard stations. You can use guards to break up protests. This sounds like an upgrade to the watchtower. And it leads to a few new options. Patrol, prison and propaganda center. Alright, let's unlock the guard stations. Now, we can't do everything all at the same time, but I really want that infirmary ASAP. So I'm thinking we should build that first. We can build it right next to the fighting arena. <laughs> hey, I'm just being practical, don't look at me. It did say that people sometimes kill each other in the arena. So I assume that also means they can get severely injured. Makes sense to have the infirmary right next to it. Fine by me, let's build it right here. So this is not an upgrade to the medical post, this is a separate building. It does require a steam core, but I'm okay with that. We do have more steam cores incoming, so that should be fine. And then we can upgrade the watchtowers. But I assume we'll have to wait for some resources. No. So guard tower here and here. And we could even get a third one maybe. In this area. First, let's wait for the resources. That infirmary should help quite a lot. I'm still thinking about a third medical post. I have a feeling we could really use one. So, how about we just get it in this area? We got one over here and one over here. Yeah, one person died. Alright, let's get a medical post. One more medical post, it won't hurt. Yeah, yeah, first build it, then we can turn the heater on, it's fine. Food looks fine, coal looks fine, the street at the coal mine is finally finished. Yep, another person died. The problem with that is that hope goes down temporarily when someone dies. Guard stations build, hope rises, good. Now give me that medical post and infirmary. There it is. We need more people, let's pause for a moment. We will get a lot more people in around one day, but until then, let's change the priorities a little bit. We also need 10 engineers at the infirmary. Where are the engineers right now? We got 79 engineers total. Let's see. 
We can probably take a few from the sawmill. Well, yeah, we can take like all of them from the sawmill and assign some regular workers. Then, yep, medical post. And turn the heater on. Then at the infirmary. Eight engineers. We can still unassign one each at the coal tamper. And leave nine. Yep, sounds good to me. This looks reasonable. Four workers at the sawmill. Can we unassign workers from something? Possibly. We got 112. We can unassign a few workers from the hunter's hut. There is a tech that reduces the number of workers required at the hunter's hut without hurting the efficiency. So I'll probably get that. Sometime soon even. Our current research is at 60%. That's for the scout speed. Alright, so this should help. We could turn the heater on at the infirmary. I'm a little bit worried about our coal, but it should be fine, I think. We just need to watch the coal. Alright, carry on. I'm watching the food. It is dropping pretty rapidly. Okay. Well, we got more people coming. They will be here in 19 hours. Then we can change the assignments around. A few people are sick, 26 are being treated. Well, there's the infirmary. Not much else we can do here, I suppose. Medical post is only chilly. Alright, I thought it would be warmer than that. And it will not get warmer anytime soon. I think we should look into upgrading the generator. Yeah, upgrading generator range would definitely help right now. I'm just slightly worried about the coal. We are using a lot for the heaters. It's going to be tough balancing all of that. But that's what this game is all about. Balancing. Yep, they gained more followers. 33 now. One more guard tower definitely wouldn't hurt. I think we should get one. So hold on. Let's maybe build a street somewhere. We could build one in this direction. And then a guard tower on this side. Yep, something like that. 13 wood. That's a bit of an overkill. Let's see where we can place it. I'm just going to pause for a moment. So, guard station. None of these tents have a guard station nearby. We could place one right here. The street is already here, so that kind of makes sense. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. Over here. Fine, let's do it. That should help quite a bit. We'll have to assign a few people, but again, we got a lot of new people coming. Five workers. There, and maybe a few more to the hunter huts. Now we got three guard towers. 140 people are living near a watchtower or a guard station. Okay, that number should actually go up soon. Looking good so far. One more engineer in here. And a few more workers to the coal piles. Get to work. You don't want to freeze to death, do you? And we got the research. That will make scouts significantly faster. And next up, I'm thinking we should get generator range upgrade. Yep, let's do that then. And then we'll see. Carry on. How much wood do we have left in here? 980, alright. We will need wall drills eventually. But not just yet. We can still build another sawmill in this area. Mild frostbite. Yup. Well, carry on then. We should be able to get something that will raise hope once the next law is available. There was a prison and a few other things. 
and skulls have returned. So we got 35 children, 3 steam cards, 56 wood and 99 food rations. Now we are going to need some homes. So let's take care of that, shall we? Not enough space here for a bank house, but we can still build it in range of the steam hub. So like this. And then probably a street in this direction. Extend it a little bit more. Bank house. This might not be entirely enough. Let's build these first. We can also upgrade a few tents, I think. Do we still have tents? Yep, at least one. I think that might have been the last one, actually. And there's the generator range. That was quicker than I expected. What's next? Improved heaters. Steam hub range upgrade. What about resources? Coal mining optimization. That would be useful. I might actually get that one. Gathering post insulation. Okay, what else can we do? What about food, health and shelter? Healthcare insulation. Now that would be useful. It affects medical posts, infirmaries, houses of healing and care houses. So this will affect four different buildings. Yep, we definitely want that. And then we can stop running a heater in the infirmary, for example. It's already livable with the heater on. Okay. Looking good. 140. I thought it would be more. Well, this will be in range of the guardhouse, so there's that. There, we still need more. Okay, we are going to need a street in that case. Let's have a look. How are we going to place it? I'm thinking extend this one slightly. The steam hub is over here. We could also get one like so and then build the house on its left side. So let's do that, and then extend this one slightly. This will do. We'll have to wait for tomorrow. And other scouts have returned. Yeah, we are going to need way more houses right now. So let's place another street, shall we? I'm just going to pause while the scouts wait. The steam hub is right here in the middle. So... There we can see the range. We can easily have a bunk house on this side. And also on this side. We just need streets. Going in both directions. So like this. And like this. That will do. But we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Because it's free time right now. Let's send the scouts. One will go to the American camp. And the other will go back to the frozen grove. Two days and eight hours. Well, that's fine. Off you go then. And now we got three steam cores. They will definitely come in handy. Not sure what exactly I'm going to use them for just yet. But don't worry, they will not go to waste. Now what about one more house between that medical post and the watchtower? Nope, that's not enough space. Okay. We should maybe consider another steam hub somewhere over here. Maybe. Or maybe in this area. Medical post. Okay, this is probably not needed. Yeah, livable is fine. Although comfortable is better. Because people will recover quicker. There are no patients in here right now. Hey, that's a good thing. That is definitely a good thing. Yeah, this heater is not necessary either. Okay, hold on. We should turn off all these heaters from the looks of it. Maybe not all, but at least a few of them. Uh, this one is definitely needed. It's cold! Okay. Maybe we should get a steam hub in this area. I think so. We could definitely use one. Then we can build a few more things. Alright, let's do it then. So, steam hub. Where was that? Right here. 20 steel. So, something like this. The cold thumper is cold. Yeah, that's moderate risk of getting ill. 
Okay, so like this. Or we could place it in range of the medical post. That's probably better, although the medical post is closer to the generator and we can extend the range of the generator. So I'm thinking this will be better. And then we'll get some houses in this general area. In fact, we already need a few more houses. So let's place a bank house or two right away. That will do. And something is happening. Policing the streets. Sir, a group of drunk men were disturbing the peace, pushing each other, screaming obscenities and harassing women in the streets. Our guards intervened and restrained the drunks before anyone was hurt. Let them sober up. Hope will rise slightly. Punish them. People may get hurt. We need hope, so... There we go. Okay, looking good. And we got a new law. So, what can we get now? Let's have a look. Patrol. Ensuring safety and order is of utmost importance in the long-term survival of our city. New ability. Patrol. Each use will reduce this content. Each use will raise hope slightly. After introducing this law... Right, I know that part. Prison. New building. Prison. New ability. Roundup. Used to catch wrongdoers. Prisoners will abandon their misguided views. You will have to build a prison. Okay. That sounds useful. And propaganda center. The propaganda center raises hope, shows detailed info on sources of this content. The propaganda center can distribute bulletins, raising hope. I think we'll get propaganda center first and maybe then prison. This also leads to Pledge of Loyalty and Agitator. Okay, let's unlock the Propaganda Center. The Propaganda Bulletin uses 10 wood. It has 2 day cooldown and hope will rise. 30 wood, 10 steel. Alright, let's unlock the Propaganda Center. Now, where are we going to build it? <laughs> Complain too much and they'll drown you in lies. Our own Department of Truth to tell us what to think. Damn right! So, yeah, we need to wait for wood, obviously. Alright. We'll wait for wood, no problem. So, carry on. Assign a few more people to places. Uh, hold on, engineers. A few more people to the piles. Okay, looks good. Yep, looks good to me. Something is happening. Writing on the wall. Captain, someone has defaced the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear we'll share Winter Home's fate, and scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. Send watchmen to remove it. Hope will fall slightly. Ignore it. Hope will fall. Well, yeah, send watchmen to remove it, obviously. If we have a choice between hope falling and hope falling even more, then it's obvious what we'll pick. The tendency actually went down. It's like one notch as opposed to two notches now. We're working on it. So, there's the bank house. We still need a few more. We got 28 homeless people. But again, we are working on it. We need wood. And I'd like to get that propaganda center first. So let's wait for the wood for the propaganda center first. Maybe engineers here, although we don't have any engineers left. All right. Hopefully we'll find some wood at that American camp or something. We need how much? 25. Here. All right. That should be enough. Now, where are we going to build the propaganda center? And now we need 30. Okay. So where do we build it? Good question. It uses a lot of space. There can only be one such building in the city. Well, yeah, makes sense. Base hitting level 3. Okay. So where do we build it? Over here wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm thinking this will be the best location for it right now. We could also build it very far away. Like all the way over here. 
That is a possibility. I don't want to build it next to the steam hub because that feels like a waste. But there's no steam hub here. Alright, let's build it right here. That's a huge building. That's going to be the biggest building in our colony, I think, next to the infirmary. Not counting the generator, obviously. So there it is. Now we just need to assign people. And scouts have reached the American camp. Hold on a moment, we need engineers. And we need to pick our research. We just finished healthcare insulation. One thing at a time, let's pick research first. What can we go for? We can't unlock the next tier just yet. I mean, we could always wait for resources, but we have plenty of things to research. Hunting tactics. Yeah, hunters' hunts will employ fewer people. I think that's what we should go for, actually. That seems like the most useful option at the moment. Okay, let's do that then. Then we need people at the propaganda center. It has to be engineers. Fair enough. So where do we take the engineers from? This is where the engineers are. This highlights every building with engineers. We actually kind of need more engineers. We can take them from the steelworks and assign regular workers. Here, alright, that works. So can we use the bulletin right away? Yes, we can. I mean, it has two day cooldown, so we might as well start using it right away, right? Here. That made hope go up a lot. Okay. Alright then, people are hopeful enough not to join the Londoners. Nice one. Well then. Glorious. May the flag fly over our city forever. Now we're well and truly a city of order. Order above all. This sign will remind everyone that we're a city of order. Damn right it will. Now, the scouts. Let's check the American camp. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol. Tesla manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Size discovered. Temporary settlement. We'll get one steam core and 64 steel. Alright, that's not bad. Let's go check out the temporary settlement. And that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.